Hello. Welcome to this week's edition of Acting Tips with Howard Fine, powered by Casting Networks. Going forward, so much is going to be self-taping. And actors, if you are going to invest in anything, invest in a good home self-tape studio. That means a solid backdrop. I know there are casting directors as of late who have talked about, oh, they're enjoying looking at people's homes and their artwork and their knickknacks. If they are watching any of that, they are not watching you. The purpose of a backdrop is to be nullifying, to eliminate distraction. Then you want good lighting, even lighting. Careful with the ring light because it can concentrate so much on your face that it washes you out. So box light, side light, you want to eliminate shadow and have lighting be nice and even. Medium close up. Ladies and gentlemen, find where that is. That's the top of your head and mid torso, right in there. Too close, and it's in what I call the creepy close up. You don't want to be in the twilight zone. And too far away is the full body shot. So you want medium close up. Find where that is, straight on. You don't want to be shooting yourself from down below pointing up or the other direction. Straight on, you centered in the frame. Sound, a lapel mic, a lavalier is a good investment. We want to hear you clearly. Your reader needs to be strong. Casting offices get so many submissions, they look for reasons not to have to watch. And tech is the first reason not to have to watch. Don't give them that. It's got to look professional. Props generally do not work in self-tapes. I love them when it comes to in-person scene study, but props generally seem to try too hard. So careful with that. Same with mime. You want to try to avoid it if you possibly can. So medium close-up, nice even lighting, good sound, solid backdrop, and a really strong actor as your reader who's there to support you. I've seen the other extreme where the reader is trying to create moments and upstage the actor off camera. We don't want that. You have to have a healthy enough ego to make yourself the center of attention in all good ways. Also, memorize the material and memorize it word for word. Very often the writer is part of the casting process. If you want to get a writer on your side, say the words they wrote. If you're auditioning for Aaron Sorkin, you better say what Mr. Sorkin wrote. First of all, it's good. It's better than what you are coming up with. But discipline yourself. Know the material. No actor ever got better holding a script. So putting together a professional looking self-tape, high quality, that's where you want to be. 